What you guys got another video here for you. In this one we're going to be taking a look at how we can enforce our secure password policy inside a Windows operating system. Now we're going to be using Windows 7 in this video but you can also use this in Windows 8 and 8.1 and also Vista and Windows XP. Uh, so as long as you've got um, the right uh, version of Windows then you should be good to go. We're using Windows 7 Ultimate and uh, if you if you're using something like Windows 7 Premium or something like that, then you're not going to be able to uh, uh, be able to use that. Okay, so let's get started anyway. So first off, we're going to go down to the Start button here, and uh, we're going to be going down to GP Edit and .msc, and you must make sure you put the .msc on there. Now, if you see this here, then you're pretty much good to go. You've got the right version of Windows. If you don't see this, then you have not got the right version you've either got the basic or something like that and it's not going to be good enough for you so once we've got this open we can now open up our little window here and this is our local group policy editor and this is where you can make all your policy changes so if you've ever worked in a corporate business or company you will see that when you go to use the PC your run bars missing you can't do certain features this is where you can make a lot of those changes so we can see inside our computer configuration uh, this is where we're going to be making some changes to the computer itself but also there's a user configuration here as well if you just wanted to make it for that user so we're going to look at the computer configuration then uh, Windows has settings here and then going to go straight into security settings inside security settings we've now got on the right hand pane we've got some options open to us and the one we're looking at is the account policies I'm going to click in there once we go inside here, we can now see two options, password policy and account lockout policy. Let's just uh, take a look at the password policies first. You can see by default it's got some settings here, uh, but we're going to be changing some of these to make them a bit more secure. Now we've got six options open to us. First, enforce password history. I'm going to keep it as simple as possible, but basically this uh, you can set this up to uh, whatever you like. Zero means... Um, it will store all your history of your passwords that you've used okay and you'll be able to use them over and over again you don't want to do that you want to be able to force people um, to uh, use new fresh uh, uh, passwords so I'm going to put this say for instance five uh, times here and uh, you can get a better explanation here or go into more detail about what you want to do uh, but I'm keeping it in more layman's terms here so let's go into maximum password age Again, this is set to default uh, to 42 days, um, but you can set it to as short or as uh, long as you like, um, depending on the security of your uh, stuff that you're doing. Uh, but I think around about 60 to 120 days is pretty good. I mean, let's just put something in here. We'll put 120 days here, but you can put whatever you like in there, uh, depending on your security. So you've got minimum password age here. Again, we're going to click on this one and the uh, minimum password age means that they can change it whenever they like uh, so d zero is uh, any time they want they can change their password but you may want to force them to keep that password for so many days and you can do that here okay so for instance if you want to do one day 24 hours or, or two days uh, which will be uh, you know, 48 hours you can do so here okay so uh, minimum password length another good one uh, to to set in a standard of a certain length of password and you can do that here and I would say a minimum uh, you know you want to be doing 8 to 15 characters you know not too long because obviously it gets more difficult to remember so I mean inside here you can uh, set this to say 15 if you wanted to or 12 or 14 uh, 14 characters or whatever so we're going to click OK there now also there's this other uh, box here and this is very important password must be met to complexity requirements and uh, you want to make sure that this is enabled okay uh, by enabling this what this is going to do is going to force uh, that person to use a much more complex uh, password i.e. he must have um, two uh, opposite case characters i.e. it will be like capitals and stuff like that and also a special character and that will be i.e. Uh, say a hashtag or bracket or something like that and that's on underscore or something of that nature so we're going to apply and OK that and then we're going to come down to account lockout policy now account lockout policy is 
uh, something to lock the person out when they're trying to get in and this is great if you've got a load of workstations and you want to sort of uh, make sure that they, the, the whole system's secure and you can see here if we go into the first one here account lockout duration we can't change nothing it's grayed out and the reason for that is because you need to change the account lockout threshold first once you go into here you can change the account lockout threshold and um, it's entirely up to you what you set this to um, you know if you want to do say for instance uh, set this to say five that'll be the amount of attempts that it takes to log on to that system okay um, before they get locked out so I'll do this and now as soon as you do that the it suggests that you can set this to uh, 30 minutes uh, and that'll be fine for what we need so you've got 30 minutes here if you wanted to change this to longer you can just double click on these and change that um, but that means if you make it too long that means the the, the person that's using that PC a workstation they can't um, get onto the system that means they'll have to contact the administrator more hassle for you okay so 30 minute timeout is good enough okay so there is some other bits and pieces that we could cover inside here if you wanted to uh, but let me know in the comment section below if you wanted to see some more options uh, covered and we can do that okay we've got audit policies and the audit audit policy is basically another part of it which you can actually set up uh, the logon events and the uh, account logon events uh, account management and all that sort of stuff okay you can set this up um, by um, setting up the amount of usage you'll see here let me just click on one of these so you've got the account logon events and you've got success and failure so that will be a really good point uh, to to add these in okay um, but we'll cover that in another video so if you added those both in what that would do you'd go to event viewer ID and you can see the amount of attempts that they've had to uh, get into that machine for that one person okay so we're going to wrap this one up all you need to do here if you can uh, come down to the security settings you can right click and reload these if you wish and that will make those set in stone and that's how you can secure your password uh, policies inside Windows 7 and Windows 8 or any other type of Windows operating system okay my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk I hope these videos help you out guys if they do then hit that like button guys it really does help me out and also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos so thanks again for watching guys have a great weekend I've squeezed this video in so you won't see no more until I get back off my holidays okay so thanks again bye for now